Hey guys, we have Pops and Days. Um, so it's been a minute, like a fat minute, since I posted. It's actually been like two months. Um, we're in a whole new year now. Like that's literally how long it's been. I cut my hair. Um, it looks really bad right now, but whatever. Um, so I guess I should explain why I disappeared, but I'm gonna be doing that as quick as I can because I got a lot to say, and I'm gonna be doing my skincare. While I do that, okay. So anyways, so why I disappeared? Basically, I was just going through stuff. And when I mean like going through stuff, I was having some personal issues, like personal issues. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm feeling better now. I don't know why, I just am. I'm gonna be doing a video that I was supposed to do like a month or two ago. So <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a winter outfits video. And technically, at least here where I live, and I'm pretty sure other places too, like a, a few amount, a few good amount. What am I trying to say? Some places still have cold weather. Like maybe it's not technically winter anymore, but it's windy. So this is, a video for that because I bet the videos you watched earlier like a month or two ago um, you probably completely forgot about it. you don't even remember what you saw and you're not inspired and you're probably feeling tired of winter and I'm here to re-inspire you so let's get right into this video <laughs> No, that didn't go as planned. This basically turned into the How to Style trench coats video, so that's what this is now. First up, we have what you would see on fashion TikTok or how to stay put on your Pinterest board. We're into the trends right now, just like leather and blazers and um, just like what's it called, like straight jeans, things like that. And we have, for a fact, Doc Martens. These are Doc Martens, just saying. I don't think I like hopped on the wave. I've had these for years before they were cool. Um, and you already know I got the stare at for them. So, now it's time for them to be appreciated. In the next few clips, when I say they, I'm referring to the girls saved on your Pinterest board or that you see on fashion TikTok, so that's what that is. Just a solid color shirt is what they wear with the corduroy or leather or jeans whatever it is and then like i said docks and a trench coat so yeah i think this is probably the easiest way to style it oh and of course do not forget your claw clip no matter what way you wear it put on a claw clip put on the basic you know outfit that you can't go wrong with throw on some dark ornaments and a trench coat and some tiny hoops and you'll look fine no one's gonna judge you. It's like the safest option, easiest option, but still cute. Um, I would have my black hoops to match all of this, but I kind of broke my black hoops yesterday. So I need to get a replacement soon. Next up we have streetwear street style. So if you're trying to go for this aesthetic, basically what you're gonna need is no matter what, get yourself some baggy jeans or cargo pants, baggy pants. Um, and then for the shirts, it switches out. It can be um, graphic tees, you know, so it's like cheap tees with logos, no logos. And then, of course, your sneakers, because they have any sneaker heads. Um, it's just, it's not a stereotype. It really just is like you need to have some nice sneakers um, to pull off streetwear. And they don't even have to be crazy expensive, like I'm wearing like dad Nikes. But like I was saying, it can be like graphic tees or another option um, is, I don't really know how to explain it, crop tops, like cropped tank tops and other things like that. Um, that really just depends if you're comfortable wearing it like that. But the easiest, most comfortable is, you know, just some baggy t-shirts, baggy pants, and some nice sneakers. And then of course, add a trench coat to add a layer and make it look more badass and never fail to get yourself some big hoops it doesn't matter if they're gold or silver just make sure you have some big hoops 
add some chains because that adds a little flavor. Personally, I don't really like to add chains where there's a design on the shirt. I feel like it takes away attention from the design. So that's my tip to y'all, but I mean, go off if you like it that way. For hairstyles, it doesn't literally matter. It does not matter, trust me. And then rings, they can really wear them, but I mean, if you want to add them, it'll make you look even more full. Trust, trust. I've seen it and people with rings and without rings, it just adds a whole new level of badass. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just the best way I know how to explain it. So yeah, this is another easy form to wear trench coat if you don't know how to style it. Next we have Academia. Um, so there's kind of a mixture of the two there are. There's light Academia, which are like these colors. And then there's dark Academia, which is like dark browns and blacks. But basically Academia in general is just lots of brown and yellow my face. And for shoes, they have like loafers or low docks. But since, you know, they're kind of pricey and not a lot of people have them, I have not been able to get my hands on them, sadly. Um, what you could use instead of that is like the low boots, like low booties. You know the ones that tie up but they're brown? Yeah, to supplement the loafers. Is that even a word? Is that even the right word to supplement? Yes. Yes, it is. Replace. Whatever. Replace. Or just some casual, like, flats, just straight up flats and no design on them. I didn't have any that matched. Um, I only had these black ones. And I don't know if you can see, but like, these have little rhinestones on them. And like, that's very in your face. Not about academia. This is like sophisticated and this is like diva. Um, but this is all I had, so we're gonna suck it up, okay? So that's what you can wear it for shirts. Several options. Soda rise, collared shirts, turtlenecks, but I remember everything has to be neutral. And plaid. Plaid is an easy form to wear at academia. It doesn't have to be the pants. It can be a skirt, you know? It can be the top. It doesn't matter. And then of course get yourself like the grandpa style pants. I don't know what the word is for these slacks. I don't know. These are from Express. Um, I actually thrifted for these and I'm obsessed, but yeah. And then of course, throw on your trench coat and there you go. Pretty easy. So now you look like a stereotypical English professor. <laughs> Next is casual. Um, there's not really much to say. These people usually, or this type of aesthetic, I guess, is really just throwing on a sweat suit, sweat set. I don't know what they're called. And then some sneakers, they don't even have to match. Usually people just put on some white sneakers, even if they don't match at all. Um, I forgot to say that besides sneakers, um, another option could be like combat boots and shoes that are similar to that. Boots like that more like, um, basically like platform boots, but the edgy ones, the grunge and the ones like goth wear and yeah. Um, and K-pop stands. So that's that's another option if you would like that. Because um, sometimes I know I personally don't want to wear sneakers all the time. I feel like I'm not even trying. I feel like it's kind of like if I don't try, it's kind of an insult to to like. Let's say I was going to a party and I wore sneakers. I feel like that'd be like telling the person that I don't really care about them. And I'm not going to put in effort. So, that's just how I feel. But, I mean, if you're happy in them and comfortable, go off. Um, you don't have to listen to me at all. That's just my personal opinion. How I feel when I wear certain things. Because I'm also extra, so I like to go all out. And then the trench coat. And, yeah, they don't even accessorize. And if you don't have a sweat set, because I don't. Um, you can just wear any other type of set. This set is literally, what is it? I don't even know. I just bought it. But they're like yoga pants, basically. So maybe it's a yoga set. I don't know. But if you don't have any type of sets, usually, 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 
They wear um, gray sweatpants and then a t-shirt, black t-shirt, solid color. Most of the time, it doesn't match, so rather than sweat it, I... That pun was unintended, I promise you. Um, and then again, some sneakers that probably don't match, but if you want to match, you do that. It makes you look more put together. And then a trench coat, and there you go. Easy. And again, if you don't have sweatpants at all, you can just wear track pants. Track pants, I feel like, are the best way to go. Well, personally, I like track pants more than sweatpants. Yes, sweatpants are more comfortable, but I think for like an outfit, if you want to look cool, then wear uh, track pants. Um, I'm a mini. The ones I'm talking about are like the early 2000s, you know, usually they have like zippers on the sides. I don't own any, but I think that would look cool. And then again, with like a baggy t-shirt, sneakers. Again, kind of again with the sneakerhead thing. And even then, not even, sometimes you just wear some normal white Air Forces and the trench coat and that's it. So another easy form to wear a trench coat. I'm telling you guys, like styling a trench coat is really easy. It really puts it up together. It's just, they're just not worn a lot. So people never really know or remember how to style it. Before I get started, I just wanna see my hair is damp or wet, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so bear with me. But this type of outfit, it's kind of like a combination of aesthetics, but like not really. So like, let me explain. This type of outfit is what I like to call a small sense to it. Basically, it's like outfits that only certain people wear. Meaning like, not the average person is comfortable wearing. For example, um, berets, a lot of people aren't into them. Or they maybe are, but they're not comfortable wearing them. And only like some K-pop stands or fashion lovers wear them. So that's an example. I don't really know if I explained myself well, but what I call a spotlight thief is like basically people Okay, like it can be like street style, it can be a person that's into K-pop, it can be a person that's into just thrifting, it can be like someone that's i don't know like there's just different forms someone that's just like into alternative fashion um so what I'm, basically the idea is like creating unique outfits that only you would be able to wear because like the specific um item you chose to make your outfit around is like one of a kind for example, I had already filmed this, but like you can hear a whole conversation in the background, so I'm gonna redo what I was trying to say. So basically, because the shoes are custom, you know, they have like specific lyrics, or maybe like a uh, drawing or a painting of the weekend, or like his logo, or whatever it may be. And you know, because they're custom, you know, you like chose it and everything. Uh, it doesn't matter if like you're the one who made them yourself, or you bought them, ordered them, whatever. It doesn't matter where you got them. But you built an outfit around that. Let's say it's red and, and black, right? Red and black. You put on some, I don't know, some black cargos like I wore. And um, maybe the weekend, the weekend shirt or just a plain red t-shirt, a black t-shirt. Maybe a, one of the, what are those, what are they called? The sweaters, but they have the flames like at the bottom. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you can wear like one of those, and then trench coat, a beanie maybe, lots of chains, you know what I'm saying? Like, you make the outfit you, obviously, you make it like your style, you can wear lots of rings. So basically, no matter what the other person's wearing, you're gonna grab all the attention because this custom piece or specific item or rare item or unique item, whatever it may be, because it's one of a kind or maybe it's not even an item it's just your outfit in general it's gonna steal the spotlight like literally steal the spotlight all the attention is gonna be on you it's stealing all the attention and that's what makes it the spotlight thief so it really is just like lots of like for example bold colors unique piece and custom pieces expensive cool sneakers um but also like if you're not really into the sneakers like i am but i'm not really that into it i prefer 
leather boots, which would be like combat boots, boots with chains, basically like an alternative K-pop type of boot for some boys and young boys and things like that. This type of outfit is like kind of like K-pop inspired because I've noticed that a lot of K-pop artists will raise dark, I mean bold colors, black, so that's my inspiration in this. So here I'm really just matching the red with the red and then obviously the black with the black. I got some cargo pants and then I have these boots with chains on them, truss and I have chains added in wearing them and I paired it with my silver hoops and um, yeah and if you're still kind of confused I'll put in a few pictures of what I'm like trying to explain so you can visualize everything. Here's a great example of bold colors monochromatic fits those always steal the attention any item with patterns unique designs those are always attention grabbers that's the end of this video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below share this video subscribe and go check out my other social media platforms that post on their different forms of fashion i do multiple aesthetics i don't just do one so go check it out and see you in the next video a little spoiler, it's here.